This week on Bath's Best Bits, you join us at the most photographed landmark anywhere in the city, and arguably some of the most stunning Georgian architecture anywhere in the UK, because you join us here at the Royal Crescent. So this stunning row of 30 properties was completed in 1774 by the architect John Wood the Younger. Now it follows the Palladian style of architecture, symmetry. And indeed, it looks symmetrical, but only the front of the crescent is symmetrical. You could buy a portion of the crescent and build whatever you liked behind. Now this style of town planning is known as Queen Anne front and Mary Anne back, or all fur coats and no knickers. This unusual ditch known as a ha-ha in front of the crescent meant that the properties behind were afforded with uninterrupted parkland view and would also stop the cattle and livestock that graze on the private lawn here from tumbling over the edge. there are many different options if you wanted to stay in the Royal Crescent. The most straightforward being to stay in the stunning Royal Crescent Hotel. And we're in the grounds of that building right now. But Reside have also been fortunate enough to have apartments along the Royal Crescent to let out. And in fact, one entire building is still social housing to this day. The Royal Crescent is part of the Masonic Trio designed by John Wood. The circus, where we were last time, representing the sun. The Crescent here representing the moon. And next time on Bath's Best Bits, you join us at the bottom of the key.